Surprise, motherfucker. What's up? This is Avengers Satanus. Um, today's Game Master Fail video is um, on rolling ability scores. Now, in my own game, Crimson Dragon Slayer D20, uh, which is kind of a hack or homebrew version of both old school and 5th edition D&D, &D, uh, I got away, I did away with ability scores. I don't use them at all in the game. I uh, just use race, class, and stuff like that. Uh, you should check that out because it's a free PDF um, on Drive -Thru RPG, and I'll put the link in the description below. But uh, if you do use ability scores in Dungeons & Dragons or whatever old school retro clone, um, I would recommend rolling 3d6 in order for a number of reasons. Um, one, it's to just test the metal of the players. You don't want to give them too easy a time up front. Um, you want them to feel the hardship and struggle a little bit. Uh, two, it's harder to identify with your character if he's like some sort of Adonis godlike paragon of humanity with like 15, 16, 17, and 18s uh, in all of his ability scores. Um, how easily can you, sitting at home, <laughs> eating your Cheetos and drinking your Mountain Dew and pizza and whatever, and donuts, I wish that was me right now, so not hating, but... Imagine you are pretending to be a character in another world and you have to pretend that you are you, except you've got like, you know, awesome strength and awesome intelligence and wisdom and you're, you have the charisma of, I don't know, Bradley Cooper or something like that. That's just so far-fetched and idealized. It's very hard for people to identify with that. And without identification, then you lose the whole entire point of role-playing games, which is immersion. Uh, feeling like you're actually there. Just being there. That's the point. That's the reason. The primary reason why we play video. Uh, not video. Role-playing games. Um, so... If you want... Okay, so imagine... Okay, you remember Heavy Metal? That movie from 1981. Okay, the the character Den, uh, he gets transported to that other world, the fantasy world, fantasy sci-fi, kind of like Charles. It's just kind of like a melange of of different genres. Um, he had he turned into like super a super strong strong god like humanoid. Um, he started off as like I don't know 15 year old kid with noodle arms, and he becomes like Arnold Schwarzenegger meets He Man. Uh, when he gets there. Uh, but he had, everything else was pretty much the same. I mean, maybe, yeah, he was a little more dexterous. But uh, same level of intelligence, same level of wisdom. Um, you make the same errors. So anyway, the key is identification. The closer your avatar or your other self in the game is like you, the more you can identify with that character. And the stronger the identification, the more immersion will happen. And as I said before, immersion is key. And so it's very important that you use a method like 3D6 in order and you don't go fucking bananas um, and try to be like king of the world at level one, which is, you know, ridiculous. Uh, you know, escapist fantasy is cool, I guess, for, for people that like that. But that's not the original tried and true reason for playing role-playing games. Um is heroic fantasy escapism. The key is immersion. As I've said multiple times, I'm going to say it in many more videos because it's true. Um, I need people to understand that if they're going to, you know, participate in the hobby alongside me and the rest of the old school Renaissance crowd. Um, obviously, you don't have to play like I do, but if you want to playing my games, um, you know, that's the way it's going to be. And I encourage you to do that in your games because I think, in my humble opinion, that it's going to make for a better game. With better players and a better one-shot or campaign, um, everybody will be happier. Isn't that nice? Yes. All right. Till next time. See ya.